these are integers, okay, so these form the sides of a right triangle, but they're not just any numbers, you know, they're, they're integral uh, lengths, okay? And these are the four ones that come up the most often. It's good to memorize these. Three, four, five, okay, Pythagorean triple, five, 12, 13, eight, 15, 17, and seven, 24, 25. So we know uh, the Pythagorean theorem, okay, we have a right triangle, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But when we have these right triangles here, oftentimes what we'll do is we'll, we'll get the three sides in such a way that all the lengths will be integers, and they call that a Pythagorean triple. Now there's more than just these four, but these ones are uh, the most common that you'll see, okay, or multiples of those. So let's go into some of the examples, I'll show you what I mean. So if we have six x and 10, at first glance, we say, hmm, that doesn't look like one of the Pythagorean triples. So we might just go right into doing our Pythagorean theorem, and that's fine. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We'll still get the right answer. It just takes a little bit longer. This is just a shortcut. But what we can do is we can say, well, what number goes into 6 and 10 evenly? Just like you're reducing a fraction, like if you're reducing uh, 6 tenths, what would you reduce it to? Well, 2 goes in here 3 times. 2 goes in here 5 times. Hmm, that looks like the three, four, five Pythagorean triple. Five is the longest side, so that's the hypotenuse. Yep, that's the hypotenuse across from the right angle. Okay, good. So that means that this side must be four, right? Well, almost, we doubled these, so we wanna double four, so this side is eight. Okay, so you see how that works? Okay, now on this one, we look at 24 and 45, say, hmm, what goes into 24 and 45? three, right? So if we were to divide this by three, we'd get eight. Here we would get 15. Now it looks like this one, eight, 15, 17. So that means that 17 is the hypotenuse, across from the right angle, that's the longest side. But since we tripled these, we want to triple 17. 17 times three is 51. I'm going through it, but as you do this, you'll get a little bit faster at it, and this will be a time saver. So when you're on that, taking the ACT, these come up a lot, so it can save you, you know, some precious minutes that you can use to solve other problems. Okay, last example here, 130, 50, you can see they both end in zero. Okay, so if I was to divide these both by 10, we get 13 and five, it looks like five, 12, 13. So that means this side must be 12, but since we multiply these by 10, we wanna multiply this one by 10 as well, 120.